Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to make a very simple tutorial on how to add texture and more specifically how to add halftones to your photos. If you guys don't have Photoshop yet, I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment as well as the description for 60% off the entire Adobe suite if you are a student or a teacher. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and with that being said, let's get straight into it. So this tutorial is super simple, it's just one built-in effect, but the first thing you want to do is import your photo and you want to duplicate your existing one. So I'm going to press Ctrl J right here. You can also hold down Alt and drag down to duplicate. You want to go to Filter and you want to go to Pixelate and you want to go to Color Halftone. And right here, the minimum is 4. The bigger you increase it, the higher the max radius, the bigger the halftone is. I'm going to leave it down to a minimum because you want this to be almost unnoticeable. As for the degrees, you just want to make sure they're different. And this could be some random angle like 308, 1 or 2. Just make sure they're random. And then once you're done, you can press OK. And if you zoom in right now, you can see there's these little dots. And these are the half tones. And what this does is add texture to your photo. Some people may not like the colors. This is a colored half tone, so you can make it black and white by pressing the black and white icon right here and creating a clipping mask. And then from there, you can set the blend mode to soft light. And now it's a less subtle half tone. You can see it all over their shirt right here. There's a lot of texture. And if I hide this, it's a little bit different. Or you could keep it the same and you can delete the black and white and make the blend mode back to normal. And you can lower the opacity because this is a little bit strong. And I think this is a little bit better. And you can see it in their shirts so once again, and you can easily erase any part that looks distracting, like maybe you don't want it on their face and maybe just clothing. You can do this very easily by selecting on the eraser tool, making sure that hardness is zero and just erasing that part of the photo. So like right here and right here. So now the halftones only appear on their clothing and in the background. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Check out the Discord channel in the pinned comment. And yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.